to generate the super plus object, which is the critical condition, and the robot had to take it quickly to the deposit. Trap is a dangerous zone, so the robot had to be very careful when be close to it and avoid it correctly. The robot is like a human. The robot structure helps the robot to perform actions, which a human can do, but also robots can perform dangerous jobs, which humans can and also they can solve problems faster than human brains. So robots are designed to have some structure of humans, like ultrasonic sensors which represents eye, color sensors which represents orange, and wheels which represents feet. Summary of preliminary challenge. Problems are investigated. Problem one, not entering the upper left side of the map due to the big turn when facing an obstacle. Problem 2. Stuck between the trap and the wall. Problem A. Not entering the upper left side of the map due to the big turn when facing an obstacle. Method. Give a condition by facing an obstacle in the blue special zone, turn right to continue find objects in the upper left side. Results. The robot entered this area. Conclusion. Entering all parts of the map is important to prove the score, as it has a bigger chance to collect objects. Problem B. Stuck between the wall and trap. Method. Turn in the same direction as the wall avoidance turn. Result. The robot don't waste time in avoiding wall. And I conclude that trap avoidance can be carried out according to the compass direction, as explained in the AI algorithm. Challenge mission. My mission is to generate a super or super plus object after each deposition process. To do this, the robot needs to pick up at least one object from each color before deposit to prove the score, which can reach over 2000. To achieve the mission, we need to divide it into subtasks. Collect RCB or double RCB in each round. Avoid wool by a small turn to collect super and super plus objects. Using markers to reach deposit. Avoid trap according to compass direction. After solving the subtasks, the whole mission will be solved. AI algorithms and resources. I use divide and convert algorithm to break the task into subtasks. Combine the solution of the subtasks to solve the original task. Strategy 1. Collect RCB or double RCB in each round. In each round, the robot can collect more than two objects from each color by making a variable for each color, 
with its value increase by picking up an object, and this value is reset after depositing. Strategy 2. Avoid wall. The robot avoid wall by a small turn to be able to collect the super and super plus objects, which are generated by 15 cm by the wall. Special turn. The robot turns right instead of left when exists in the blue special zone to be able to enter the upper left side of the map. Strategy 3. Targeting angles. When the robot's task is to target angle 90, divide the directions into two ranges. Range A, from 0 to 85 and from 270 to 360, which represents this part, and from 95 to 270, which represents this part. To target angle 90 if the robot exists in range A, so it will turn left, and if it exists in range B, so it will turn right. I use this strategy to reach the positive using purple marker to target angle 90 and gray marker to target angle 180. Strategy 4. Following line. I use the green marker to reach the positive by if detect the green color by one color sensor, the robot will increase the speed of the opposite way. Strategy 5. Trap avoidance using compass. The compass range, if the compass range is between 120 and 225, while the sign objects are zero, turn right to enter the lower part of the map to be able to collect sign objects. Special case. If the robot detects trap while the right color sensor is near to the wall so the robot can pass through it. In other conditions, the robot will turn left same turn as a wall avoidance turn to prevent the robot from stuck between wall and trap. Tools and resources. To complete the challenge task, I try to use most of parameters and tools on the map, like wall and traps to collect super and super plus objects and to enter all parts of the map, markers to reach the deposit, and compass to in avoiding trap and target angles. Implementation Flow short If the robot is fully loaded or picked one object from each color or 30 seconds left and loaded objects are bigger than one so the robot should search for a deposit. So if it detects purple, it will target angle 90 and if it detects gray, it targets angle 180 and if it detects green, it will follow line. Else, if the robot detects an object, so it will pick it according to the variable's value. If detected trap, avoid it according to compass direction. If avoid wall, if detect a wall, avoid it. Else, if found the deposit, while loaded objects are six, or one object from each color is picked, or 30 seconds left and loaded objects are more than one, so the robot deposit and reset all the values of the variables. Else, move forward. The robot will repeat all of the strategy until the end of the game. perform as what I expected, so I need to check the debug to see which current action contains the issue and fix it by checking the values of the variables and observe the existence of the condition that match the parameters of the robot. Sometimes it took lots of time to, make, to find out where does the issue exist, but debugging helps me to discover the issue faster. And now you can enjoy the video game.
different AI algorithms to the robot, it performed the machine intelligently in the preliminary challenge. If I was asked to solve the machine again, I would use the DLL file. For the work, participation in RoboCup EDA 2022, be qualified to IIoT, working on hardware and learning Python. Learning experience. I have learned lots of things during this challenge, as the idea of the AI has been grown in my mind. I know more about machine language and strategic planning. I learned the problem solving, as I can define the problem, generate new ideas, implement and evaluate, divide the problems into subtasks, which make it easier to solve the original problem. Thank you, RoboCup Asia Pacific Japan 2021. See you soon.